In your health headlines this morning, a study in a medical journal found that people with a consistent Mediterranean diet, exercise, and professional weight loss support have a 31% lower chance of developing type 2 diabetes. Participants of this study had seen a 3 to 4% decrease in their weight, which has long-term benefits on diabetes prevention and lifestyle changes. Over 38 million Americans have type 2 diabetes, and that number is rising in today's Health Medical Minute. Mandy Gaither covers a groundbreaking study. The research suggests that artificial intelligence could revolutionize real-time diabetes care. When it comes to type 2 diabetes, full management of the disease can be a struggle. It's very important to get the blood sugar under control to reduce the patient's risk of developing long-term complications. Dr. Kevin Pantalone with Cleveland Clinic says many of his patients want to know how they can get off of the medications used to help them manage blood sugar. That's why he and a team of researchers are studying how artificial intelligence may be able to help. Through an app from Twin Health on a patient's smartphone, Smartphone. He says the technology uses a person's data from biosensors, including their physical activity and continuous glucose monitor, and is able to learn a patient's predicted glucose responses to various meals, then provides personalized recommendations. In real time, it will tell the patients based on their predicted response what they should consume for the meal, how many grams of carbohydrate, as well as the order in which the foods are consumed. After 12 months of research, Pandalone says 71% of patients who took part in the study were able to get an average blood glucose level, known as A1C, of 6.5% without any glucose lowering medications, except metformin, a common and relatively low cost diabetes drug. That compared to the less than 3% of the group of participants who tried to achieve the same results with only standard diabetes care from their doctor in that time. When you give patients the tools and the technology uh, to succeed, patients can do very well. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. Dr. Pendalone says these results are from the first year of the study and they're currently undergoing research for the second year. He says researchers are now working to determine if the results from the first year can be maintained in the long term.